Hi Scorpios, I'm hoping you guys are doing well. We're going to go ahead and continue your reading uh, for the 15th to the 21st. So this is just an update, a weekly update for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see, what does Scorpio need to know please this week? Whatever message the universe wants you to know. I'll keep this very open. Love, money, work. Let's see this before we start. Okay. You are here with the Six of Cups. It looks like there's a burden for some of you from the past regarding a reunion. Some of you may be hearing from someone from the past with the Six of Cups and the Eight of Wands. But let's see. Kelsey Cross, please, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more. 15 to the 21st. There will be an extended for those that are interested. In the description box below the seven of cups venus in scorpio which is you and we have the harvest which is um judgment wow and the empress there's a lot of options a lot of possibilities regarding desires pleasure truth love i'm getting for some of you it's a return regarding a person or a situation we will see we have the page of pentacles with a tower, but you guys are used to the tower, right? I'm a Scorpio myself, so I get you. We have the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Eight of Swords, wow, the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Three of Cups. I keep getting that you guys will have some reconciliation or something very beautiful is going to come uh, this week. Now, the overall the Page of Pentacles being the overall situation with the Tower, I feel like this is a hard lesson or some type of unexpected confession or some type of messages, unexpected messages. That's the overall situation for this week. So I will say that some of you might be getting some type of information. Actually, it's a blessing in disguise because the outcome is the Three of Cups or someone here is coming unexpectedly at you. You do have the Knight of Cups and we're going to clarify all of this. You have the Knight of Cups in your hopes and fears. So definitely there's romantic feelings. There's something creative as well for some of you. I'm looking at romance, but even when it comes to you, your own self, finding your own way, this is a lesson that is going to move you in a new direction. With the Tower, we know that is not easy, but it will kind of push you in new beginnings. Look at it as kind of a unique way or a new foundation, new ideas, push you outside of your comfort zone in a way with the Page of Pentacles and the, the Wild Hunt or the Tower here. So the overall situation is just some type of unexpected messages, lessons that are coming in. Uh, for you and we will clarify the queen of wands is at the foundation of this now if this is you you very much got this you feel very passionate you have that fiery attitude you feel very bold in your approach in the past or we should say even for some of you in the recent past since we are looking at this week there's some type of new beginnings new passions some of you may be, again, kind of wanting to return to a new person because we had the judgment before. Or for some of you are ready for, um, for something new, for something excited, for something passionate. You do see this situation, though, this week with the Two of Pentacles um, as, as kind of weighing your options. You're looking at what do I need to do? If this is a new person, for some of you, you kind of maybe between something from the past and again, this unexpected situation that is coming in. Because you don't want to create. With the Two of Pentacles, you're kind of holding on to this tower moment, going back and forth and seeing how do you handle this crisis? How do you handle this information? How do you handle the spark, the passion that has been here? The hangman tells me that immediately it's just this different point of view. You're kind of looking at it in a different angle or someone here that is coming towards you, they still have this idealistic approach. They're still looking at different ideas, different views. You do see yourself, though, um, Scorpio, as very much trapped. There's something, especially I feel like this is your, your mind, your thinking, that right now you feel like, what can I do? I have to kind of weigh my options. I know this information that is coming in is very sudden new confessions but you feel like you cannot do much you feel trapped about it and even external to you someone here 
is concealing uh, a certain situation is not with the seven of swords i feel like there's some type of um, hiding concealment or even now I, I should say someone is um I don't want to say a self-deception. It can be that there's the person here, it's kind of in the shadows, working behind the scenes. That's how I see someone here, external to you, Moon in Aquarius. You are hoping though, the good thing is that this week your hopes are all about romance. That's uh, what you're hoping for. That's what you're wishing for. And he's saying the best possible outcome is that there's going to be good news, reconciliation for some of you or whatever this spark from the past and this message that is kind of very sudden uh, kind of situation is going to turn well for you. We're going to clarify. You have the, you have the three of cups, which um, is reconciliation. Let's see though. I like that I have all the elements here. I have fire, I have earth, I have water. Tell me about, I want to see what is this. The eight of pentacles. Ooh, this For some of you, this may be something that you have worked. You have put a lot of work, a lot of dedication, a lot of improvement. This will push you in a new direction, progress. Tell me about that page of pentacles, please. One more. Wow. You're manifesting here. There's something here that you have been manifesting uh, for some time. It's like a lot of manifestation, a lot of uh, working towards something, but I feel like with the spell casting here, I'm getting that something is like this kind of manifestation regarding a message or regarding something that you have worked and put a lot of dedication. Tell me about the tower. One more. It's like something that you have been longing for. All right, so we have the three of wands. It's so interesting because the tower is very unexpected or is something that is coming to the ground something is, is going to be revealed there's this eruption but with the three of wands here it tells me that this is something that has been anticipated in a way that's why i feel like though it is um, a sudden thing i don't feel like you did not know this i feel like there was some type of expectation there also this may be finally that whatever needed to come you know manifest whatever the shipments finally are arriving it is chaos it is changing but at the same time you are prepared for it i feel like you already know with the three of wands um, there's something that has been waiting for some time tell me about the queen of wands one more all right we have the world it's all about this accomplishment this uh, completion scorpio is something that again you have left unfinished or someone here that is coming towards you but this is accomplishment this is regarding your destiny something you want finally uh, to conclude to complete in a successful way tell me about let's see this ace of wands this is recent or for some of you again something from the past it's still affecting you though because I feel like the spark, the passion is still there. One more. Transformation. This is chariot energy. I'm, I'm getting for some of you, it may be a person from the distance or it may be something that uh, you wanted to go forward. The, this is a, again that kind of movement, that progress. There was regarding a certain situation that you take, uh, that you took a chance or you moved. It can be that finally you took that opportunity to move to a new place. For some of you here to kind of uh, move towards someone that has been a distance from you. But again, this is the spark, the passion that you took the courage to go forward. It may be recent, it may be uh, something way from the past, but it looks like there's something that started for, for you already in the recent past and you're trying right now to kind of complete it. There's been lessons, there's been messages, 
there's been opportunities you do have the two of pentacles this week so again i feel like you're weighing your options even if with the tower moment coming here you still kind of got it under control tell me about the two of pentacles one more four of swords okay yeah, in your thinking, uh, Scorpio, even all the surrounding and the situation that you have to accomplish, you are kind of, um, this may be, again, breaking the silence with someone. You already have made a movement before. So right now, you're just kind of feeling like, uh, I do I retreat? Do I continue in this way? It's a recovery mode for you. Or again, you're kind of contemplating, thinking, not rushing in of what is the approach. Let's see who this hangman is that is your immediate future. One more. Wow. The fool. Someone is waiting to make um, that big step towards you. Someone here is kind of looking. It may be you again. With whatever these lessons, these messages that are coming, these expectations towards you that you feel like, hmm, uh, as I said, in your thinking and in your self-focus, I don't feel like you right now, at least because we're looking at the weekly. Even if things are happening around you and even if this situation are approaching you, you are. I feel like you are not going to right away act on it. Someone might come towards you, but you kind of feel like I have to wait, I have to weigh my options, I have to look at different views. You know that there's going to be something new, a, a big step or a, a new beginning, but you're looking at different views. Now, for some of you, this may be the person that wants to come towards you and they're kind of um, hanging in there, waiting. Why you have the Eight of Swords in your self-focus? I don't, like, I feel like you're waiting for someone here to come towards you, especially if you have already done that before. And you're hoping that they will express their feelings or someone will come and open up. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. One more. The Nine of Wands. Man, you are so guarded, so cautious. Yeah. Things are happening around you, but you yourself feel like you... Your focus is not on the situation that is coming in. Your focus is right now to... And it's so interesting. I did the singles too and you were getting a lot of the nines. Just this, you know, you, your accomplishment, yourself, what you need to do for yourself. You feel like stuck and apprehensive and guarded. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. One more. Oh, wow. We have the devil and the seven of swords. What do you need to know external to you? Someone here. Now, this combination is, for some of you, uh, I'm getting, making, can be a, a little bit of a manipulation for some of you. For others, this is someone that is very obsessive, but they're hiding it. The seven of swords with the devil, this combination, um, it's not easy. They may be there. Someone is very tricky or there's some type of uh, obsession going on. Again, this is external to you. So I feel like this is not you. This is your person. Um, there may be that there's some type of codependencies and uh, this person does not want to reveal much about themselves. But I'm getting a lot of hiding, a lot of uh, entrapment uh, in the external. This may be also how they see you, but... Uh, since you are kind of guarded and just minding, I feel like you're minding your own business and self-focus. That's how I see this. External to you, someone is not, is not revealing much, but there's a lot of uh, obsession lost. Or I will say again, this person feels very codependent. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. One more. The King of Wands. 
you're hoping again if this is you you're hoping that finally you can express your feelings or for some of you you want this person it may be the same person here that is hiding is not revealing much um you have a person that you want to open up you maybe you're hoping for this person to finally come towards you and express their feelings or you want to express the feelings towards someone the king of wands is very attractive very type of um charismatic personality you you have someone or you're hoping finally that your person will open up towards you the good news is that there's celebration uh, with the three uh, of cups you are going to receive good news even through the tower moment there's going to be reconciliation tell me about the three of cups one more oh wow there that's the lovers guys this is a beautiful combination This is regarding you and a person finally uh, having some type of reconciliation. This is Mercury in Cancer. So to me, it's very nurturing. Things will turn out well for you, Scorpio, whoever resonates with this reading. Tell me about the lovers. Wow, that, that's beautiful. The only thing that concerns me, why is someone hiding here in the shadows? One more. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, prosperity, wealth. For some of you, again, you're going to make this major decision regarding commitment. I feel for some of you, prosperity, wealth, and abundance. I like I like the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, it's the completion here of something very beautiful that is coming in. Scorpio, whatever this tower moment, whatever this foundation, whatever this change that is coming towards you, even with the hangman there and this new beginning, it's going to lead you to prosperity. So I feel like this is a very positive outcome. Do not be afraid of the tower. Do not be afraid of the lessons. Do not be afraid here of whatever it is that your destiny, what are you going after? Because the outcome is beautiful. In the extended, we will just see what are the current energies in your love life and who is coming towards you. Thank you. Bye-bye.